helicopter just get a taser from? Okay. Well, uh, let's just get uh, back up here. I mean, I'm a police officer. <laughs> I mean, it is backup, but. Oh my god, and he's making a rest! Hello, everybody. Luke here. Welcome back to a new episode. Today, I will be playing Pulse EMS. It's a new plugin that just simply goes directly into your GTA 5 folder. So this works along with LSPDFR, so there, you don't even need to take it out. It's just like a, just imagine it like a simple, got, uh, you know, plugin. Civilian. Anyway, let's just ignore that call for a moment because I just want to show you some of the things. I do have a partner. Now this isn't included with the uh, plugin. I'm just using ultimate backup or a partner so let's just get him in the vehicle real quick so you got a lot of cool things you can have you have a personal radio you can show yourself on scene in contact with patient tell oh, one more turn the uh dispatch that you're in route to a certain hospital and the call of course they can grab like equipment from uh the vehicle like uh, where is it? Gloves. That's pretty much it. And a med bag and a stretcher. Then you have options just, you know, with your med bag and stretcher. And the patient, you can check them, do treatments, do medications, even though half of these I don't even know. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Then you got your settings. You can. Remove the mini map on foot Citizens and whatnot. Report, hold up at, Do your keybinds. Uh, That's really it. Ignore the uh, police calls. Actually, I don't know if this will work. I can just say I'm not available for police calls. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this plugin. It's my partner. Let's just call him Joe. Uh, this vehicle. I just chose whatever random ambulance I found on Modification Universe. I'll just be linking it down in the description though. But let's show to uh, dispatch that we are accepting calls. We are available. Roger. All right. So first call we got is a call of an unconscious, unconscious suspect. Grape seed. Let's go. And yeah, it's in grape seed for sure. Guessing we need to go code three. So let's get on to that. All right, we are approaching the area where the call came from. Looks like it's gonna be at the stand right here. Oh, I see him. So now let's show us on scene. All right. So now we can try talking to the suspect. Sir, can you hear me? It's EMS. Huh? I'm up. What's going on? Who's you? My name is Joshua. I'm with EMS. Is everything okay? What are you doing? Just trying to nap. Can you leave me alone? I'm, I'm tired. Okay, well, we got a call here to check up on you. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, please just go All right, we're that. leaving Well, there's just a false alarm Probably the people at the stand just thought he was unconscious. So they called us. So Well, let's just show ourselves 10-8 and available. Come on partner. Let's go. All right, so we do, uh, yeah, we have some reports that this hospital here that we're assigned to wants us to transport a patient. It's a non-emergency though. We don't know what hospital yet, but we'll, we'll get the, the directions on how to do it or where to go to at least. Just got to pick him up. 
All right, they're getting ready for pickup, so we just gotta wait here until they bring them out. All right, so they want us to transport him all the way out here in Los Santos. But it's not, uh, it's a non-emergency, so you can see him back there. He's just <laughs> underneath the stretcher, but don't mind that. But they said it was a non-emergency, so I'm guessing he's just, you know, he's all right. So I'll just see you guys when I get to the hospital there. Approximately 10 hours later. So we are here at the hospital or the one of the hospitals in Los Santos, the Mount Zona Medical Center. I don't know what exactly this guy's issue is, but hopefully he's going to be all right here. Pretty sure he'll be in good hands. Just trying to get in here. It's sweet. Dropping him off. Nurses are probably going to get out and get him. All right. That was pretty much it. Quite simple. Totally wasn't responding code three to the entire time. I would have teleported myself over here, but I was afraid that I was going to spawn in on top of this building here. Anyway, let's go back to San Andre. Uh, yeah, let's go back to Sandy Shores and take more calls out there. Roger that. All right. We have a possible diabetic emergency. It's gonna be in Sonora Desert somewhere. Spot code three to that. After all, it's the guy's a diabetic and it's an emergency. Damn. It might have had a report on it. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to, not, to be honest. <laughs> I would not be a good uh, EMT, that's for sure. I'm just ignoring the reports on the guy, but I don't know. I'm not very professional, but this mod is very realistic. Like, well, realistic as in like the procedures, the um the medications part there's like a specific medication that you have to give the patient probably so i don't know how to do this so i'm just gonna be doing whatever i think is necessary <laughs> so we're gonna be on scene here looks like it's gonna be at food stands like interesting oh my calls is that the guy right there Oh, thanks. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you running into me. And anyway, let's show uh, this batch that we are on scene. All right. Come on, partner. I think this is a guy that we have to talk to you and uh, green. I mean, brown overall. Let's, let's see. Hey, sir. How's it going? Got like green hair. Hey there, my name is Joshua and I'm an EMT. Can you tell me what's going on and your name? Hi, my name is Klaus Boy Boy Boyer. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I it's something to do with my sugar. Okay, do you know if you have diabetes? Yes, I have diabetes, but I'm sure what type I have. Okay, do you mind if I take some vi quick vitals? Sure, go ahead. Use the PEMIS menu. Okay, start your transport. So the guy sounds like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm going to grab my bed med bag. Grab med bag. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> okay.
All right. You can also just place a med bag anywhere you want to. There we go. All right, man. So what I'm gonna do? Let's just get. His name is Klaus, of course. General impressions. Okay, he's stable. I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, okay, it says alert, verbal, pain, unresponsive. He is verbal and he's in pain. Okay. So ABC is this airway, breathing, and circulation. I don't think we need that. It does sound like something that we need. So this doesn't have like a description of what these are. That would be kind of nice if it was. But there were, I meant, I mean. So I don't know what an OPA is or an NPA. Okay, so this is the stuff. So this is poisoning, allergic reactions. An aspirin or sulfate, whatever. I can't pronounce the first part. So this is just like for wheezing. This is for pain. Oh, we got oxygen. Cool. And then we have whatever this is glycerin, some kind of nitroglycerin. Nalo <laughs> can't pronounce these. So this is for respiratory. The guy's probably dying. <laughs> I'm like taking so long. I'm just reading all of these. The guy's like, help me, my sh my my blood sugar. It's. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank God this is just a game. If I was doing this in real life, it'd be terrible. So there's a lot of stuff here. Reduced bleeding, mental status. Okay, di oh, okay, diabetes, this is something. I'm just gonna give you some glucose. Let's see that is. You're giving your patient glucose, okay. So I gave him glucose. Do I need to do anything else, I wonder? Let's see. It won't let me talk to him, so. I'm just gonna get him on a stretcher and send him off to the hospital. <laughs> I think that's like the best thing I can do right now. So I need, yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to grab my my med bag. Pick up med bag. There we go. All right, partner. We're gonna be transporting this guy to the hospital. I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully we're doing something right. <laughs> So now let's grab the stretcher. Uh. Alright, cool. Oh! Sweet. I don't know how, but you're automatically on the stretcher. I'm guessing I can just plop you back in the ambulance? If it'll let me return to stretcher. Come on. Or maybe I have to be over here because it's only detecting it from over here. Yeah. Ever is running. All right. Uh, yep, he's in the ambulance. All right, let's go, man. I'll be following. Don't mind the thing being on the side of the vehicle. I did read in the description that you have to have a certain uh vehicle config or whatever but i unfortunately didn't listen and didn't do that so that's my my bad so let's just show dispatch that we are in route to the sandy er whoops i don't know there we go right they said copy oh that was the comments and questions oh okay i just press enter and <laughs> just saying that i don't have any comments so let's go back code three to this. Go to the ER, drop him off. All right, we are at the ER in Sandy. Just gonna drop him off. 
That'd be kind of cool if we could like drop them off ourselves, just like pull them out of the ambulance and bring them in. But who knows? The guy's updating the the mod anyway, so just have to wait and see what he does. So we're gonna get sit here patiently and wait for another call. All right, we got a traffic collision. Interesting. It's in Stab City, and it just says the incident ID and the time. That's literally it. So I'm guessing every call is like that. It doesn't give you like a description. You just have to respond to it and show up and see for yourself. So I don't mind that. Anyway, let's respond code three. The vehicle collision. So it's going to be exciting. All right, we are pretty close to the scene right now. Oh, I see a car. It's damaged to me. I think this is it. And I hear cougars already, and I don't have a gun. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> anyway, let's get uh, dispatched to know that we are on scene. All right, they said copy. Let's get going. Uh, Let's just call him Billy. I will say those ELS reflections are quite interesting. Hey there, my name's Joshua. I'm an EMT. What happened? Are you feeling any pain? No, not really, but some asshole ran me off and fled. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a collar on you. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know why yeah, that sounds so weird. Like, here, I have a collar and a leash, and I'm gonna, like, drag you around and call you my little, uh, my little toy or something. <laughs> anyway. So, we gotta put a collar on him. Uh, that's not that. Okay, patient. And let's just put a collar on him. We got to get closer. Come on. Or do I have to get him out of the vehicle? Wait, 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 hold on. I, 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 I probably have to do an assessment. So, scene assessment, nothing. Okay, so we got the patient now. All right, maybe now we'll work? Okay, yes. So what you have to do first is get the patient and then apply whatever you need. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna take some visual vitals really quickly, and then you, we can get you going. Oh. Okay, so I have to do some vitals first before I do anything. So I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so there's vitals. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna just check your blood pressure. Okay, press space to pump. Of course, I'm just going to jump on the vehicle. And then you can let air out by pressing, holding the down arrow, and then... <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing anything. So his blood pressure is... 174. I don't know what normal is. <laughs> I am EMT. Do you need me? Not that it will be uh, any good because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, uh, check pulse. It's calibrating. Wait, wait why, why do I need to check his pulse? The guy is alive. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, blue. He's crossing 80 and he is All right, what, to be let's just do some. Okay, so he has slight bruising. Okay. Like he's stopping. Just and ignore the, so the driver... bumps per minute. Yeah. I think, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, just just ignore me. <laughs> so, of course he's in pain. He is verbal, yes, but he's not unresponsive. Okay. So I'm just going to check this. 
So, uh, sounds like he's all right. Okay, so now let's just get our stretcher. I did not grab the med bag, so my fault. I'm going off RP here. <laughs> so not that we're being anywhere anywhere near professional, but I do have gloves already, so I didn't need. Anyway, what what am I doing? I'm trying to get the stretcher, Blue. Whoa, I just went inside the vehicle. Is he in it already? That's interesting. So it'll just automatically set them into the stretcher. So I don't know if that's just a bug or I mean, the mod is a work in progress still. So there is probably some things that need to be smoothed out. So don't expect this mod to be, you know, anywhere near finished. So we're just going to transport him. So I'm going to tell them that I'm in and out. Uh, let's just say the guy is fine just as bruises. There. <laughs> the guy is fine it just as bruises. Okay. Alright, we're just let uh, dispatch know that we're going off to Sandy Shore. It's the emergency room. And we'll be back 10-8. And there's a fire. Yeah, that's that's safe. Yeah, it appears so. They're already out on foot, so. Roger. All right, so we got an unknown medical emergency in Grapeseed. All right, so so we're a mile and a half away. Yeah, it appears so. They're already out on foot, so. We should be fine. All right, we are on scene. I see a guy laying on the ground. Now let's see. I'm gonna tell dispatch that we are on scene once again. All right, come on, jo uh, Bob. Yeah, Bob, Billy. Let's get going here. Let's get our med bag from the opposite side of the vehicle, but it is completely fine. Grab my bag. Come on. All right, we got it. Let's place the med bag. Talk to him. Hey, sir, can you hear me? It's EMS. Huh? Uh, what's going on? Who? Who's you? Is running. My name is Joshua. I'm with EMS. Is everything Down okay? What are you doing? Trying the, to uh, just trying to take a nap. Leave me alone. I'm tired. It's the same guy. I wonder. All right, man. Well, I'm just here to check on you. All right. Someone called. So are you sure you're okay? Oh, Damn it. I told you to leave me alone. Whoa, where did my, where are you? Going? Where did my partner just get a taser from? Okay. Well, uh, let's just get a uh, backup here. I mean, a, a police officer. I mean, it is backup, but. Oh my god, and he's making a rest! Okay, maybe it's not a good idea that I'm using ultimate backup as my partner. But anyway, uh Oh shoot, I don't have stop the ped. Dang it. Well he's just standing here on the side. Well sir, uh Let's just get Police over here, I'm sorry for my partner for being like this, but I don't know. I guess he's a EMT slash cop. Well, this is my first reaction or use of Paul CMS and my uh, my re opinion on it is just, it's fine. Works great. <laughs> I do not know how to play as EMT and Let's just, I will admit, it's probably not my favorite, but it's not bad, not gonna lie. I feel like maybe it'd be kind of cool to have like a, a section where you can have your own You're mine now. partner, of course, instead of a police partner slash EMT, but what can you do? Anyway, you are going down. shut up, police officer. I'm trying to speak here. 
Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. The mod in will be the bell. The mod and vehicle will be in the description. And I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you around. Ciao.